Welcome to another Arduino project called Active Buzzer. If you like the channel, feel free to subscribe and also give us a thumbs up if you like the video. The things needed for this project are one active buzzer and two male to female connector wires. Here is what the connector wire looks like. One end has a male end. The other end has a female end. The active buzzer has a sticker on it with a plus sign on the sticker to tell you which pin is the positive line. Place a red wire on pin 12 and place a black wire on the ground pin. Connect the red wire to the positive pin and connect the black wire to the negative pin. Now let's begin some code. Before the setup, we need to identify an integer. So let's put an integer called buzzer. And that will identify pin 12. And we will put a comment and we will label it pin of the active buzzer. Now let's put code in our setup. We're going to identify the mode of the pin, which is pin 12. That is an output. Remember the semicolon. So now let's add the loop code. So let's add a counting character. and I'm going to put a comment as the counting or the counter. So we put while one, which means while it's true, we need to put two frequencies and we're going to put two for loops. The first for loop counts from zero to 80 and it counts by one it increments and we put our instructions in between braces so let's make some room so the first for loop is going to do a digital write and it's going to write to that pin as high and then there will be a delay of one which is one microsecond and I'll put a comment there And then we do a write again to the same pin buzzer as low. And we will wait again one microsecond. And this first one is the first frequency. The second for loop is the second frequency. So this for loop is going to count from zero to 100. And it counts by one. And we will write to the pin 
buzzer as high, just like the other one. This time we will delay it a little longer as two. Which we are waiting for two microseconds. And then we will write again to buzzer as low. And we will delay again as two microseconds. So now you can pause and take a look at all of the code and stop the video. We will now upload the code to the Arduino. The Arduino has now received the code and now we see the result. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel and give us a thumbs up. And remember, keep on learning.